see it in the horizon as we approach. Cook out! Welcome to Hamburgers and Horror, the home of meat, monsters, milkshakes, and massive sweet teas. Today, we are at Cookout. It is usually open till 3 a.m., but we're here at 6 o'clock on a Thursday evening. Mm -hmm. I got a hamburger with bacon, ketchup and cheese, french fries, and a corn dog. Nice. And this Mine was five ninety nine for the entire thing. No sweet tea. I got it. Bruh. Really? They only gave me one. They gave me. <laughs> so I got the big double tray with the French fries, chicken nuggets. I got two chicken nuggets. All right. What were your first impressions? Well, aside from only getting two chicken nuggets, the fries, you know, are the typical cookout fries. Pretty standard, thicker, like almost steak fries. And obviously, I think most of us are probably familiar with a cookout burger. I think they're pretty consistent whenever I mean, you get one. We need to acknowledge that cookout is specifically a southern chain. Is it's it? like not like I'm from Ohio. They don't have it in Ohio. They don't have it oh. up north. So I would say a majority of people in the U.S. are not familiar with the cookout brand. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. So, yes, cookout is a very fun fast food place and it has a very extensive menu. That's probably what it's most known for. And what you get are trays. So you get obviously your main course, which you can be like a burger or a chicken sandwich or something like that. And you were able to get two sides. So I went with the chicken nuggets and the French fries. And you can also substitute your drink for a milkshake, which is always enjoyable. I got it's an like espresso a, milkshake. It's like a dollar extra to add mm -hmm. on the milkshake. Like if you got the milkshake by itself, it would be more expensive mm -hmm, yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this is the big double burger so the burger itself the patties are you know that typical like uh quarter pound size and you get two of them so it's probably equivalent to like the double quarter pounder at mcdonald's except i would say it flavor wise is a bit superior to it it has that nice um like grill taste to it if that makes sense i not sure if that's artificial or not, but it wins me over. And yeah, so I'm gonna get started and eat a little bit and then we'll get into the scoring. Whoa, let me see your burger. Is my burger thicker than yours? Yes, look at this. Regular burger, double burger. Because I think the regular burger is a quarter pounder. So they're the same. Maybe, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Some of their other sides are good. Um, they always have hush puppies and they also have fried cheese. And they also have fried- Oh, I forgot about the fried cheese. Fried hash mm. browns. And they called them like cookout rounds or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were out of bags, so we didn't get a napkin. And they use foam, so they might have to lose some points for that as well. There should be a foam deduction, you're correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are about halfway through our meals now, so let's start our scoring, Kim. What would you have to say for the presentation of the food? Um, you're missing stuff, and it honestly, it kind of looks kind of sad when you open it, so I'm going to give it a two. Yeah, so you get the styrofoam container, you got the missing chicken nuggets, you got no bags, no napkins. I will go ahead and give this a, this might be a one out of five for me. One, okay. The, the nuggets hurt them. All right, what would you do on size? Well, I wouldn't have been so angry before, but now that I see that what it should have been two half pounders together, that would have been a fucking double burger. But now that I know that I could, the regular burger is the same size as the double burger, I'll probably go with a four out of ten. I'll give mine a five. Okay, okay. Toppings. You do have to pay extra for the tomato, ch cheese, and bacon. Wait, it's extra for the tomato too? Yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. So, yeah, the toppings are on this burger nothing special. It's just onions, pickles, cheese, bacon, and maybe mayonnaise. 
and for half of those things you have to pay extra so i'm gonna give that a probably like just a two out of ten mm, i mean it's pretty standard so i guess i'll give it a four okay mm -hmm. <laughs> going light on them today but like i don't really mind not paying for the tomato because i don't get the tomato on it mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Uh, how do you feel about the preparation of the burger itself? How's the cook on it? I mean, brown all the way through. It's not like they're gonna they're mm -hmm. not gonna ask you how it's cooked, so it's uh -huh. kind of like going to McDonald's or a Wendy's. Mm -hmm. But for what it is, I think it's fine. So I'm gonna give it a six. Okay, I will be still probably less forgiving than that. Is it? Yeah, it's the typical like fast food patty. So give it a four. Mm. How's the actual taste of the burger? I mean, the cheese is just like. American cheese. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think I'm going to stick with six again. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I already said, like, I am a sucker for the, like, like grill flavor. If, for lack of a better term, that the cookout burger has. And I, I do enjoy the patty itself more than, like, the McDonald's patty. It tastes better than the Sonic patty. And for that reason, I will go ahead and give the flavor a uh, seven out of ten. Okay. The bun. Bro, look at this bun. It is falling apart. Literally. Oh, oh no. Uh, you're not allowed in my car anymore. <laughs> but yeah, bun gets a one out of five. It's a sad bun. I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five. Okay. I think it's fine as a standard bun. I think your bun's holding up better than mine. Look at my bun. Yeah, your bun's pretty sad. The fries oh. are soggy, but they do give you a lot of fries. Yeah, fries are pretty standard. I'll give them a two out of five to be nice. Two point five. Mm. All right, cost. Um, do you sell a receipt it's taped to the top of your? So yeah, both of our meals were still under ten dollars, so that's gonna be five points, extra credit points. It'll get an. Well, actually, I had to pay for the milkshake, but it's only like a dollar extra, so I'll still give. I'll give it a point for them being able to switch out the milkshakes. That's nice. I um, think there should be a point. A point for like the variety on their menu. That's true. Because mm -hmm. there's just like so much on the menu that you can mix and match. And mm -hmm. so only like a dollar more. Yes, yeah, so you really could come here and get a tray and get something different. Like a hundred times. Time. Like, mm -hmm. And you can mix the milkshake flavors. So you could mm -hmm. get like a fudge Butterfinger one. Or you can get like a cheesecake one. There's like a watermelon one. There's an eggnog one in the winter. So they do have variety on like the beverage side mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. All right, any other... would, you, would you like to officially deduct a point for their foam? Yeah, I would like to deduct a point for the foam. Mm -hmm. Okay, one point deducted for foam. Mm -hmm. Do better, cookout. Yeah. So our final scores are 27 and 34 out of 60. My big double burger came out to 45%, and Kim's cheeseburger is approximately 56.7%. This sadly puts my big double burger on the bottom of my burger journey thus far, which I'd say is accurate. While I enjoyed the flavor of the cookout patty itself better than the Sonic toasters, it was narrowly edged out by the bread and toppings. So there you have it folks, that's the final score for cookout, you know. It's nothing great, it's maybe not even anything good, but we, we enjoy it occasionally. I would recommend it if you are driving and see one but mm -hmm, i mm -hmm. would not go out of your way yeah it's just a fun it's something different to, to break your little fast food trips up i guess so yeah thanks for watching hamburgers and horror as always i'm noah hook i'm kim and this has been our review of cookout, cookout.